Israel is preparing for what could be an extended ground assault in the Gaza Strip against Hamas, a militant group that launched a surprise attack on the country over the weekend. The plans for an offensive came as Hamas militants threatened to execute Israeli hostages if the government continues to bombard civilian homes in Gaza without warning. There's never been anything like this in, you know, in the history of the region. More than 900 Israelis and at least 687 Palestinians have been killed, with scores more injured and displaced. At least 11 U.S. citizens have died, according to President Biden. As the war heads into a fourth day, here's what you need to know. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the country was preparing for a mass offensive against Hamas. Dozens of tanks and hundreds of Israeli soldiers fanned out along the Gaza Strip border Monday. Parts of Gaza were largely reduced to rubble after Israel launched at least 130 airstrikes on Monday, some landing in the heart of Gaza City. The strikes came as Israeli officials called for a total siege on the Gaza Strip, which would cut off food, fuel, and electricity to more than 2 million Palestinians living in the enclave. The people of the Gaza Strip, they've been largely isolated since the Israeli forces and civilians pulled out in 2005. Very few Palestinians are able to get out of the Gaza Strip, so they rely on Israel essentially for everything. Israel has told people to leave their homes and to move to other parts of the Gaza Strip, but they, they literally have nowhere to run to. They have nowhere to hide. They can't leave the Gaza Strip because it's completely closed off. The military situation in Gaza was extremely dire before these hostilities. Now it will only deteriorate exponentially. Hamas on Monday threatened to execute Israeli hostages unless the government ratchets back its bombardment of their Gaza sanctuary. Spokesman for Hamas said the group will be forced to broadcast the execution if the targeting continues. In the past, Hezbollah and Hamas have captured a soldier here or you know a migrant worker there, but more than 100 Israelis, civilians, children, elderly women, young women, it's unprecedented. So it makes it incredibly complicated. You know, anytime Israel wants to try and carry out strikes, airstrikes, they're going to risk the possibility of killing some of these Israeli civilians. While the Israeli military said it regained control over its southern towns, border breaches in other parts of the country have raised concerns. The military said it killed a number of armed suspects that crossed into Israel from Lebanon on Monday. No one has immediately claimed responsibility for the breach of the border. The Pentagon warned Iran and Hezbollah, a Lebanese militant group, to think twice before joining the conflict. Another fear here is that there could be a new front opened uh, on the Lebanon border with Hezbollah joining, and Hezbollah has much more effective, long-range, precision rockets. Israel has threatened, essentially, to bomb Lebanon back into the Stone Age if Hezbollah were to launch a fight like this. The war in 2006 was incredibly devastating to, to Beirut and, and parts of, of Lebanon. It's one of the reasons why Hezbollah has not engaged in the fight, because I think they realize that, that Israel is not going to hold back in any way this time. They've said that. But if, if they're fighting two fronts, it's incredibly difficult to know how it's going to end.